What has happened again? What's happening there? Marshmallow, what's wrong? What's wrong? What is happening? What is happening there? Marshmallow! You okay? Charlie! No! Oh my goodness! Boys! Don't make your last days the worst days! Don't fight! Oh my goodness! You are insane! Are you serious? What are they doing, my girl? And then all the girls. Out you go. Out you go. Charlie. Black Devil, what have you been doing all morning? Out, out, out. and welcome back to another video as you saw it was a mess when I came in here I really don't know what can hold Lima inside we have put her yesterday and I specifically we put her put her uh, triple hooks like you can see the holes like we put her so many hooks and on the bottom she had hooks I don't know what can hold her inside she really gets pissed when the other babies are outside which makes her punch the gate like full power with her horns and that slowly, slowly makes it open, of course. But what we're gonna do, because the babies are now old enough, not to need to be outside because they do spend all day outside. So all they do come in here is for the night, just to sleep. So I think we're just gonna close it on the bottom just to prevent the babies from coming outside. And that should stop her from punching the gate. Before we work in here, David wants to go fix some small things on the car. And while those things are drying, some things he wants to do, we're gonna come back here and at the boys, we have to do some work. So let's get started. Pippa, did you break the car? <laughs> no? And who did this, Pippa? Pippa, did you do this? <laughs> Pepper, do you like the new lights, Pepper? Pepper, do you like them? One of the jobs we want to do today is to fix the car. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, but we do need to fix this. This is the main problem for the technical inspection. They do not like rust. So this needs to be closed up. We're going to do it. And we're going to also clean up all the straps because it is rusting away. We want to make sure it you know, stays for much longer. And, uh, yeah, there's not much really left there, isn't there? Okay, let's see what happens when I go over to brush. I hope it doesn't all fall apart and we make it worse than it was before. Let's just hope for that.
Another thing we need to fix is the windscreen liquid. So this one here, it does work while driving. It sprays up in the air and goes in the wind <laughs> window, but um, for technical inspection, it's not good enough. So we're gonna remove the broken one and we're gonna add this one for now. It is a lot bigger than this car needs. And I hope it just clicks in and twists. Um, we don't want it to spray sideways, so. Okay, hope we can twist it, okay. Yeah, one of them is only spraying. Yeah, I think it's clean now. Okay, well that fixed it. It's all done. We have put this, it's like a filling plaster. It's specifically made for cars. It has epoxy inside, so it hardens fully. And we are gonna wait for it to dry. It, uh, it is dry to touch already in like 20 minutes, but we're gonna wait for it longer. I don't know how long. It doesn't say on the packaging till you can sand it. Probably full day, but we don't have that long. So we're gonna probably try to sand it early or some parts, you know, where we can try already, where it's not so much damage. But let's go to the boys, cause we need to add the solar panel cause their battery is running low and they need electric fans to, to stay in. Baby. Please don't step on it. Baby. It works perfectly fine. It looks like after the one year, I think it was at the goat place of them wrecking it, they bite the cable quite a lot. It still works fine. The solar panels are giving quite a lot of power. Of course, it's more than enough to charge up a phone, but we need to connect the battery and see how many amps is going in. Of course, it's not the best day. It's cloudy, but they're still charging up my phone. So it is free electricity. I mean, the work, that's the whole point. It yeah. still work. <laughs> yeah, we should have used this more often. Why don't we have free electricity at house? Huh? Yeah, we need to get some more of those. Solar panels. For yes. the Gaudis. Coming soon. Boys, don't eat it. You can reach it. You're ridiculous! <laughs> He's chewing on it! Ma Maxi, Maxi, boy! It's okay, my boy. Go. So that job is finally done. Now their electric fence is always gonna be powered on. We're worried, you know, cause the battery needs charging up. So now it's gonna charge up and it's actually already giving a lot more power out. So it's much better. Me, we may be replacing with actual solars that are meant to go on roofs. Cause these ones here, you can see they're unfolding solar. So they're completely different. 
than uh, solders that you would put on your roof where they have attachments. So let's move on to the car. Looks like it's still a bit soft. I don't know. It, it's hard to tell really. But I don't want to risk it and ruin it. It's not like it took the most time to do. We're gonna leave it till tomorrow to harden, so you're gonna see that in the next video. Let's go to the goats and finish that up, close it up, put in new hooks for Lima because it's already broken. And uh, yeah, that should be it for today because it's already late and we're tired. Push her. Go, 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 go. Push her, push her, push her. Go, go, go. Rocky? Rocky? Okay. Okay. Who's that? Everyone, let's two go in the group. Oh, wait, that's Marshmallow. Oh, no, damn. Go, Marshmallow. Go. <laughs> push her, boom, push her, boom, push her, boom. Go. So all the goats are locked in. Everyone's inside. Now we have the bottoms closed. No one's in the middle. No one is coming out. They're just not able to. They're climbing a lot. <laughs> These, Hope they don't jump over. Yes, that's what we definitely hope for. These two boys, they are going up for sale for today. So they're looking for a new home. Hopefully they're going to find it fast. Because just because going. they need to be separated from the girls. They are f close to four months old. And that is the time when they can already make a girl pregnant. So this is definitely not good to keep them together with the girls. So we have to either sell them fast or get them over to the boys. So there's no other choice for them. They cannot stay here with the moms. We have to start milking the moms. So yeah. Our big boy Hoppity, which is our first boy. Our firstborn baby ever here. He is castrated. We did castrate him. We fixed him, fixed whatever you call it. And um, so he is not gonna make anyone pregnant. He does not have any of the man instinct. features, instincts. So he is perfectly fine. We're not gonna have any troubles with him. But the other ones, the other two, we do have to sell and find them new homes. Yeah, because they're sweet and cutie, huh? <laughs> they and they're starting find to find more girls to Yeah, date. and they're becoming very manly. <laughs> yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Tomorrow we're going to update you if anything happens, if they escape again. Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, it should be coming close to the end where they don't need anymore to be locked in. Where we're just going to take out the gate and leave this door fully open all night so they can come in and out. But that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. We're gonna see you next time. Bye bye. Watch out.